What is the most common MRI contrast agent? Describe the metal and chemical shift artifacts that can happen with MRI. Name some safety concerns that you would have when utilizing MRI technologies. And what are aspects that you as a physicist need to do QA on? So the most common MRI agent is gadolinium. So this shortens the T1. And what that means is when it shortens T1, something will show up bright on the scan if it absorbs it, assuming you are using T1 images, which normally you would with this gadolinium. Now, metal and chemical shift artifacts. So metal from dental fillings or hip transplants, those obviously distort the image. If uh, protons in two different tissue types are different enough, uh, the proton processions are different, and that could misplace and show a misplacement in an artifact in the image, and that is where you get your chemical shift artifacts. This happens specifically by an interface of fat and water where it is close enough, but they are different. They're close, but also quite different enough where the protons are processing differently. You may see that chemical shift artifact and all of these artifacts for MRI, I do encourage you to memorize and know. Now, what are some of the safety concerns for MRI? So first thing, obviously you need to keep metal away. You also are using very high RF pulses, meaning that it is going to heat up quickly and tissue heating very well could be an issue. Now, you also would want a Faraday cage in the room to shield from the powerful magnet that is being utilized by the MRI. And then finally, what are aspects you should do QA on? So... First thing is spatial distortion. So this is very important. You're going to get your image and you are banking on MRIs being exceedingly accurate, but with the slice thickness and the, accu and the axial distance accuracy, you need to ensure that there is no distortion on those because one, you may not be able to tell within the image itself, and then that will lead to errors when treatment planning. You also want to look at your signal to noise ratio. Then you also have your magnetic field strength you want to verify. Then your field homogeneity. So you want to ensure that the entire magnetic field is the same strength throughout. You have a gradient linearity you want to ensure is correct. And then finally, you got your RF tuning. Now, as a clinical therapeutic medical physicist, you may not do all of these. This may be a diagnostic <clears throat> physicist job, but if in case you consult this out, or if you are commonly using MRIs, you want to ensure that someone is running these tests and this QA and that your devices are up to snuff. So if you have any questions just about QA or MRI in general, this is just a sampling of some things that potentially could be asked and questions that I think you need to know beyond just the basic, how does MRI work? But if you have any questions, comment below. I'll happy to help and best of luck studying.